Today we're announcing a reopening advisory board that will inform the administration's strategies for reopening when the time is right. This group will work on a plan that occurs in phases. They'll help industries navigate public health guidance and implement safety measures for the new rules of the road. We've asked this group to produce their plan by May 18th. The advisory board will be led by Lieutenant Governor Karen Polito and Secretary of Housing and Economic Development Mike Keneally. Along with a 17-member team, they'll bring together public health officials with leaders in the business community and municipal government. We picked a fairly small group to ensure that this group could be productive in a short amount of time. There are many important voices that they will need to hear from as part of the conversations that will be led by the advisory board. The strategy was to pick leaders in different spaces who are connected to like-minded people statewide so that they can engage in that robust dialogue and report back the most critical information for the advisory group to consider in making their recommendations. One way I've thought of thinking about it is this group, while small, has a lot of people on it who are very qualified and represent a lot of geography and a number of different business models here in Massachusetts. There are many business models in Massachusetts, and we think this group will provide an opportunity for folks in different verticals to get together talk to one another, and then speak with one voice to this advisory board with respect to how they would pursue operating under the rules and guidance that comes from the advisory board. This should make it possible for every voice to be heard, but at the same time, will create a mechanism that establishes organizing principles for different verticals and different business models to relate and communicate with this advisory board. We do anticipate delivering updates on the board's work as time goes on. We're pleased to have a few members join us today, including Public Health Commissioner Monica Burrell and Lawrence Mayor Dan Rivera. The Lieutenant Governor will provide more details on the advisory board in just a minute. I'm confident this team will come up with thoughtful recommendations for how we approach a phased reopening. But our public health guidance and data from healthcare experts are ultimately going to lead this process. This includes monitoring information like hospital rates for COVID-19, the percentage of new cases, and monitoring community hotspots. We're all incredibly eager to move on from this phase of our lives, but if we act too soon, we could risk a spike in infections that could force our state to revert to serious restrictions again. And this scenario would be far worse for our economy and for our communities and for our people. We'll keep monitoring several data points to identify trends that indicate the rate of infection, and we'll continue to make decisions based on what we think is best for Massachusetts. As we navigate this process, we'll also work with our neighboring states on strategies that make sense for us and for the Northeast region. As I've said many times before, we need to talk to each other and stay in touch so that none of us does anything that unwittingly puts the others in a bad space.